to see these things happening, even if they don't happen to us, it really calls into question the entire basis for how we live. In general, I believe that while the police can be helpful, they can also be bigoted to minorities. The police need, have a lot of systemic issues, and they need to have a lot more checks and balances put on them than they already have. I don't really have an opinion on the police because I'm white, but sometimes it's a little terrifying to see them everywhere. On one hand, I understand that their role is to help serve and protect the population, but on the other hand, I've never seen a case where actively going and getting a police officer has ever been helpful. I've seen the police go up to people on the sidewalk that weren't doing anything the stop and strip movement, which was always really fun to watch. I've seen the police pull people over for no reason and put them in cars and assault them for no reason. Since I am a white male identifying minor, living in a small town with little or no crime happening, I have never had a personal experience with the police. Um, I've not had any direct experiences with the police, except um, one time I was there when a friend got arrested at a protest. Um, they were also white, but they were a little more uh, rowdy than I was at the protest, and I had to leave. Um, the protest was actually a Black Lives Matter protest directly following the events in Ferguson. One of my uncles is actually, or was actually, a police officer, relatively uh, high up in the chain of command for his district. He was, I don't want to say he was very racist, but shockingly, he was uh, quite a bit prejudiced. We have family friends who are black, and um, they have told us about having to sit their son down when he was like 12 or 13 and talk to him about how the police were going to target him and how he couldn't go out wearing a hoodie and how he couldn't do a whole bunch of stuff that just... I mean, it's all stuff I've done. I mean, like, it's all like you can't, like, look police officers in the eye. You can't go out wearing a hoodie. You can't pull up a hood. You can't do a whole bunch of stuff. And it was, it was weird, I guess. Although police brutality does not occur where I live, there have been many cases of police brutality towards people of color and or transgender individuals over the past few years. I was at a Black Lives Matter protest and my friend, whose name I'm not going to say, even though they don't go to the school, um, was arrested for being um, rowdy. This is ridiculous. Like, free speech should definitely cover this. There's no reason to arrest this person, even though, like, yes, they were causing a public disturbance. Yes, they were shutting down streets, but it was a protest, and I thought that was sort of what made this country a thing. So that's kind of terrifying. There's been that whole this whole upcry about police brutality recently people now can record what goes on when the police arrest people and so you can see like these people who actually haven't done anything being directly targeted by police for no reason it's a cycle of them thinking there's something wrong and then you saying no there's not and them saying well you're hiding something and then looking further which causes you to be more defensive and then they can claim any number of valid reasons for them to way overstep the power that they are supposed to have. Once you're convicted of a crime, the amount of places that will hire you goes down significantly and so it's like once you've screwed up once even minorly like it could be a minor non-violent theft but they're gonna see, everyone's gonna see that and you're never gonna be able to become like a fully functional part of society again i think that every form of torture is different and can be worse because for example for some the death penalty is a mercy and for some it is the worst thing that could happen keeping someone alive just because it's too expensive to kill them i think is a terrible punishment i think that the worst punishment that really a person could be given 
would honestly be the death sentence. Often, there are innocent people who may be sentenced to death. But also, the idea that the system is stacked against you, that even when you've done nothing wrong at any moment, really, your entire world could collapse in just such a quick manner, really would just destroy one's faith in the entire just American system as a whole. I'm Abby. My name is Sam. My name is Elliot. Anna Farber. I'm white, non-binary. I'm a straight white male. White girl. I'm a white trans guy.